Mike and Mike, on this book, when I said we'd get to the draft, we will get to play on the draft, including John Gruden saying he wouldn't take Jameis Winston number one. You'll hear who he would take number one. we got some other answers, though. Uh, yeah, I wanted yeah. to get to the yeah. Kevin Love uh, dis- uh, injury situation and the J.R. Smith decision because we spent so much of the beginning, uh, frankly, so much of all of our show yesterday talking about those. And by now, no doubt you've heard the news that Kevin Love has been ruled out basically at minimum for the second round. And usually when you hear an injury, you hear it's going to be X amount of time. Yesterday they announced that he's out for the next round. Now, the next round keeps becoming a little bit less certain because, in case you don't know, Milwaukee beat the Bulls last night in Chicago. Um, so that series remains alive. But it, the, the next round wasn't going to start until this coming weekend at soonest anyway. Right, right. But one way or another, Kevin Love is out for the entirety of the next series after dislocating the shoulder. And when you factor in, here's where I wanted to go back to our discussion of yesterday. Again, no one knows shoulder injuries like Cole <laughs> He had 10 shoulder surgeries during his NFL career. Um He's a pending, his pending free agency, I think, also has to play into this somewhere, right? Tell me again, if he comes back, let's say he gets back as fast as he possibly can. Right. They do absolutely everything they can to get the, the shoulder as healthy and as ready as he right. possibly right. can. In your opinion, and again, it's not a medical opinion, but right, it's, right, a, right. it's a patient's opinion. Does he put himself at greater jeopardy for having that re-injure, well, re-come out, re-whatever the word unless, is? Unless it's fully healed 100%, which it won't be uh, if, if he's going to come back in that time frame. Uh, yeah, you're, you're susceptible to having it pop out again. That, that, that's where it led to for me because I didn't want to get it taken care of till after the season. So it would, each time it pops out, it pops out a little easier called subluxing. And, you know, it pops out, but then it slides back in a little easier as well. That first time is hellish, as, as he, he found out um, uh, and, and, and talked about how when it went back in, he felt such relief. And you do. You absolutely do. And you feel like, okay, I'm, I'm fine, but you're not. Uh, so uh, maybe finding out, you know, we, 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 the initial report from Brian Windhorst was two weeks. So we thought that might be, what, three or four games, depending on when the, when the series started. Uh, to come back, but a lot of it had to be based off the MRI. And now they're saying the, the one thing is we didn't know is when the start of the series, but what we do know is the back end. So give her, really, Greeny, it would be give or take a few days, right, to know kind of the time frame of the second round. Yes. So you you, you start to put two and two together. You say they got the, did the MRI, and now we have the new timetable of missing the whole second round. So was there some damage to the labrum in there? That That's what you're looking at. Was there damage to any of the ligaments uh, in there? If so, how much? Uh, and then, and then you rehab it again. The rehab uh, first, it's it's letting it all calm down before you start the rehab. And there are ways from harnesses to compression shirts to keep yourself to, to keep it kind of locked in a little bit better. Uh, but still, you know, when you're shooting, your arms are going. You saw the arms locking all the time. You know, when when you go underneath, that's not the first or last time it's going to happen. You have to reach up. You're talking this thing popped out of joint. So any movement you have, that that ov- obviously the joint is is sliding and moving in there. So could it be susceptible to coming out again? Yes. And then now you're talking about a situation where time could heal it. If it were to happen again, are you now saying, okay, maybe we're going to need surgery now? Maybe you're going to need labrum surgery now. And then what does that do to your offseason? And then if your offseason may include trying to go get a max deal somewhere else, what does it do to that? Uh, these, these are and certain. is it unreasonable to think that he's going to be thinking that way or should be thinking that way? I understand it's, you got a playoff run. you got a potential championship run. What you, I mean, he, he does have a player option. Technically, he doesn't have to become a free agent after this season. He has a player option. So he can opt in for $16.7 million. Right. Have that money guaranteed and on the table. Figure a year from now, we'll worry about it then. Right. Get back as fast as he can now and try and help his team win a championship. That could, that's, that's option. I'm not going to say it's option Listen, number one. It's up to, to him to decide what's option number one. That is an option. To say that's not thought of would be... A naive thing to say. Everybody knows where their position is and what they have in front of them. And the possibility like this of re-injuring and what was once rehab now could lead to surgery if you heard it again, that's real. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you have to decide, even if you were to have that, is he still a guy another team is going to want labrum surgery? You, you fix that. Still can be a max guy. He's shown what he can do, certainly in Minnesota. And we all understand how he's being used in Cleveland. So do you still feel like... You know what, I've shown enough that even if I have to get this work done, I'm still going to be okay with a max deal. Not to say that you want to go through that. I think in most players' minds, at least 
maybe this is me more wanting to believe it, that their thought process is, let me get back on the court and help my team win a championship. All right, we are Mike and Mike. That's obviously one of the big stories out of the basketball off the court. The other is J.R. Smith. Yep. The suspension comes down, and it's I, I think it's the right one. It's what I expected. It's what you said. I yeah. thought one game would have been a little little be based on his history. You know, a lot of that factors into this. Mm-hmm. I think if a player who had never been involved in any kind of an issue before did exactly what J.R. Smith did, especially when you consider sort of where that game had gotten to from a physicality standpoint, it would have been one game. Based upon his history, I mean, again, same building, same opponent, two years to the day, I'm not surprised it was more than one game. There's part of me that almost feels like they were kind of fortunate, don't you? Because we had... Was it Brucey? Yes, somebody I had heard to talk possibly three, four games, maybe more. I think maybe it wasn't was, Bruce, but someone did uh, say that. Uh, yes. Dave McMenamin. Dave yeah. McMenamin. I was yeah. going to say it wouldn't be Bruce. No. <laughs> Bruce, <laughs> Bruce thought it should have been the quarter. What, 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 what am I saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so, so that's what you look forward to. Now the Bulls all of a sudden are in this little struggle fest. They couldn't seem to put the ball in the basket in the, in the peach basket last night at all. Uh, the shooting was horrific. And give credit to the Bucks; they're down three zip in this series. Now it's three two. So they 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 extend this series a little bit. But now you're you're looking at the Cavaliers facing probably. I I I feel pretty safe to say since nobody's come back three down that it's going to be the Bulls. But certainly no Kevin Love and not no J R Smith for the first few games. What's trending? now with Mike and Mike brought to you by five hour energy new improved taste 10 great flavors have you tried five hour energy shots lately okay uh, busy we are today again a, an incredibly busy time in the world of sports and don't forget that we are giving away a fabulous trip to the SBs. all you need to be doing is listening for your chance